Welcome to Military Combat Network. My name is Drakey. I'm a serving soldier in the British Army. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you do enjoy this content, give it a thumbs up. Today, it's the Philippine Army shooting team. So let's have a look what they have to offer. Before we dive into it, though, I want to point out quickly, if you don't or you're not aware of the Philippine skills, check out the Philippine Scout Rangers training video I reacted to. Aim to be world-class champions. Target is to be the finest marksman. At the Marksman Training Center, this is the mindset of every soldier. Okay, range. The Philippine Army is home to the best shooters who have distinguished themselves not only in local competitions, but in international competitions as well. At the Marksman Training Center in Camp O'Donnell, Kapas Tarlac, members of the Philippine Army don't just become sharpshooters. They are home to become world-class marksmen. So, yung magiging part ng Malunod Black, uh, of course, uh, maging shooter ka. Tapos, ang um, meron ding, uh, ang pwede lang magsuot dito, as per instruction, yung naka-abroad. Isa ka na sa nakuha sa elimination round. Okay, that patch looks very, very cool. I'd like to have one. Captain Jose Carlos Coruña is one of the trainees yearning for this badge. Their marksmanship skills are enhanced by joining various shooting competitions here and abroad. To be able to earn the Manunuda patch, you have to undergo the basic marksmanship training, advanced marksmanship training, and you need to be able to pass the marksmanship trainers training courses for both pistol and rifle. And then you must be able to represent the country in any international shooting tournament for you to be able to wear the Manonera. The Philippine Army shooting team has won the most coveted trophy in the 2014 Australian Army Skills at Arms Meeting. Their team has defeated the best shooters from the armed forces of the United States and 12 other countries. Impressive. Okay, so they are the best of the best pretty much when it comes to shooting, sharp shooters. I'm no, there's no surprise really. I'm, you know, like I just said, I'm, I'm not really surprised after watching the Philippines Scout Rangers training. Okay, coming first, second or third, you know, out of, what, 12 different nations, is impressive. Very impressive. Uh, ngayon, ang sinasalian ngayon ng team dito is yung tinatawag na ASAM, BISAM, at saka yung ARM, Army ASEAN Rifle Meet. Yung ASAM ang sumasali doon, mga first world country. Nag-world champion na tayo doon. Natalo natin yung... Well, I like that figure 11 trophy. It looks nice. America, British, Canada. So, yun ang nagpatunay na world class na rin itong team na ito. The ASIM is an annual shooting competition among different units of the Australian Army aimed to showcase the marksmanship of participating teams. It also serves as a venue to exchange techniques and learn from each other. The Army team won 14 gold medals, 50 silver medals, and two bronze medals in the team matches. That is some impressive shooting. Pag sali sa mga competition is napakalaking bagay na pinanghawakan namin ng karangalan ng ating bansa. Hindi lang sa aming sarili, sa aming unit, kung sa buong bandila ng Pilipinas. Well, not, not to be biased, but... Okay. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of another country taking it so serious, like they're winning it for their country. Um, interesting. In the latest PNP AFP Olympics, that saw the participation of the Philippine National Police, the three major services, the Philippine Army Shooting Team emerged as the champions, and it is the Philippine Army Shooting Team that represents the country in international tournaments. So I am proud to say that the Marksmanship Training Center is the premier marksmanship training center of the armed forces of the Philippines. Philippine Army team proved its very high level of marksmanship, making it equal to the other armies not only in the ASEAN region, but also in the whole world. Okay. At the Southeast Asian picture, uh, our toughest, com uh, our toughest uh, opponents would have to be Indonesia and Thailand. Well, of course, because of our training and our equipage, um, I would say that we are just at par. There's just a slight edge to equipment and of course ammunition, but training-wise, we have world-class training. We do not fall far from 
first, second, or third place. We can get first, second, or third sometimes, but um, hindi po tayo bumabagsak dun sa top. That's how Impressive. good your Philippine Army shooting team is. Up next, what it takes to be an elite marksman. The Philippine Army implements various training programs to further enhance the shooting skills of each soldier. May kanya-kanyang team dito, katulad ng uh, pistol team. Uh, men and ladies. Tapos mayroong uh, carbine team, yun yung tinatawag na basic. Carbine, mayroong rifle. Tapos mayroong masyadaan. Tapos sa stages, may kanya-kanyang stages na ba? Uh, no? uh, pistol, rifle, carbine. Iba-ibang klaseng discipline. Going through the marksmanship training is like taking a college degree. Four years bago magiging competitive. Oh shit! Uh, lahat ng klase ng... Four years of training. Incredible, honestly. Four years to train to get through that. Competition. So, ga ganun na nga, yung pagpunta sila dito, nagre-recruit kami ng potential shooter. At dito iti-train. Leaders of the training are like snipers too when it comes to selecting target members. Sa ngayon, meron kaming uh, mobile training team na uh, umiikot silang nagtuturo at isa yun sa pamamaraan na makakuha ng mga uh, potential shooter na pwedeng maging magaling na shooter. Challenge is their everyday ordeal. Yung una, yung sinabi mong gaano ka rigid. Oh my God. Advantage sa disadvantage na dito na unang-una maghapon kasi na training ko. So, yeah, kung rigid, talagang rigid kasi araw-araw. Sa NTC po, your, your marksmanship training center soldiers start their day with their exercises, their calisthenics that starts at around 4.30. We run an average of about 5 to 7 kilometers a day. And then we have our uh, conditioning drills. We have our uh, planking exercises to strengthen our core because shooting is a discipline of muscle controls. One should load his gun with bullets of determination, passion. Now that's some serious, you know, determination, you know, to put yourself through that all the time, every day, to become a really good shooter at shooting competitions. Respect. And discipline. Iba ito kasi, kumbaga ito na yung trabaho namin. We teach, then we shoot. We act as instructor, we shoot. National one, international. So, exciting. Nakatulong kami sa Kapasundalo, lalo yung mga, yung mga bagong pumapasok na sundaluhan. Compared to other marksmanship training, scenario-based shooting applications are conducted in the training field. While the IPSIC and IDPA are tournaments of speed and accuracy on regularly occurring scenarios, the A-Arm, the Southeast Asian Rifle League, and the Australian Army Skillet Arms League are more tests of how soldiers really fight in the field. Yeah, the mga distances po namin there are 300, 400 meters. Po. The IDPA, the farthest would be probably 50 meters. Lady Cadet Leia shifted from arrows to bullets. Dati po kasi akong archery, archer. Ngayon, sa tingin ko, walang pinagkaiba yung pagiging archer sa shooting. Kaya trinay ko siya. E eh, nag-enjoy naman po ako hanggang yung skills ko parang uh, na-develop na siya. Hanggang sa yun, sumasay, sinasali na kami. Uh, pag may elimination, nakakapasa. Pag nakapasa ka sa elimination, automatic uh, mag-shoot ka ng abroad for competition. Dito po kasi, kailangan ng patience. Dapat willing ka, uh, and nandun din yung skills. She too desires to be a top-notch shooter like the rest of the team. Sa akin kasi, uh, sumasali ako sa practical para makakuha ng uh, self-confidence ko para sa laban ko ng abroad. Ang pinakamahalaga is self-confidence and exposure. Anyone with perseverance can be an elite shooter. Sabi nga, medyo mahirap siguro, pero sabi nga nila, kung gusto, maraming paraan. Kung exactly. ayaw, maraming dahilan. So, pupunta tayo ngayon sa paraan. Kung yung mga sundalo na gustong pupunta rito, it's just a matter to, to coordinate, to commander, na gusto nilang pupunta rito. Merong mga coordinations na ganun eh. O kaya, kung interesado sila, kahit hindi siguro sila magaling sa shooting, uh, sa lahat ng mga sundalo. Gumawa kayo ng paraan kung paano kayo mapunta rito, gusto nyo pumunta dito, gusto nyo mag-training. It's just a matter sa mga kanilang mga commanders. 
Mapupunta naman sila dito. We encourage you to be part of the Philippine Army shooting team. We would like everyone to signify their intent to join the unit, the center. Not only will it validate your skills as an individual soldier, but more importantly, it will give you the opportunity to represent your country in ways that the ordinary soldier can. Guys, really enjoyed it. Small video, but like I said at the beginning of the video, if you watch the Philippine Scout Rangers training, the video I reacted to, then you know they're pretty good at shooting. Okay guys, leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.